What's up, y'all? This your boy, Big Money Blue. You feel me? Today, I'm going to take y'all down the, the lane of how to get that money on e -com. You feel me? Um, building websites and things of that nature. Uh, I specialize in that. That's really what I do outside of the music. Um, well, first and foremost, to get a little background of uh, how I got into the e-commerce shit. So, I actually started out selling, like, um, T-shirts and like track suits that might have had like sublimination images on it you know like Heineken bottles or lean or like um Swisher Sweet shit like that I'm thinking that you know that shit was gonna sell good to the hood so I did I did crew necks sweatpants I did shit like that first that shit ain't really sell like that so I end up stuck with a lot of product so I just was like you know what fuck it I'm gonna just give this shit away so I gave all that away to niggas in the hood, people I fuck with, whatever. And it was nice shit. It just didn't sell well for me online. So then um, I transitioned. I was like, you know what? Let me sell something that I I like to wear. Because I wouldn't have wore that shit, honestly. You know? And I, I wouldn't wear that shit, honestly. But um, so I stopped doing motorcycle jackets, uh, hard denim jeans, um, stuff like that. Things that I, I would wear as an artist. So now when I built the store with that, boom, now I'm making a thousand a day. You know what I'm saying? 30,000 a month. I feel like I'm doing big shit. You feel me? I'm flexing. Go cop me a, a IDR rate or some shit. You feel me? I'm, I'm, I'm blowing the bag. I'm, I'm making the money. I'm, I'm, making a, I'm making a few thousand a day. A thousand a day, matter of fact. So now I go from that to I'm like, damn, you know what? Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm in the house. I'm chilling. Let me go out, let me hit like a, a local flea market or something. Let me just walk through, see what they got going on, get some inspiration or whatever. So I'm walking through the flea market. And um, when I walk in the door, I notice I'm like, damn, the whole the whole flea black. You feel me? So, you know, the flea market, that's like all your local business owners and stuff like that. They all have like a shop inside one building. So I go into the building, the whole building black. But down the hallway, it's like one building that got like a light on at the, at the end of the hallway. So, and I can't make this shit up. It's real for true fact, right? So I'm like, damn, let me walk to the light. Let me see, let me see what's down there. So I walk down the hallway, I get there, and it's a store that has like memorabilia stuff in there, like Ninja Turtles, um, plastic, toy, what, what the things is, army little toys, cabbage patch dolls, members only jackets. It got um Superman and Ninja Turtle. Um, Batman toys, all kind of shit like that. So I'm in the store and I'm looking around and shit. I'm, I'm looking at everything. I'm blown away. I'm like, damn, they got everything from my childhood in here, but ain't no sale clerk. I'm like, where the, where the fuck is the sale clerk? So I'm I'm turning around. I'm walking out. When I start walking out, this little motherfucker pop up, pop up from behind the counter, down there a midget. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, can I help you? I'm like, man, I didn't even see you back there. So I'm like, right away, I'm, I'm you know, I'm always trying to help people. I'm like, man, why? Why you in the flea market with all this raw ass shit? You know what I'm saying? I'm making a thousand dollars a day online. Like you really should have an online store and the amount of traffic that you're gonna get is gonna be times a million over the amount of traffic that you have in just being in in this little flea market or whatever. So I'm trying to put them up on game. You know what I'm saying? Encourage another black brother. You know what I'm saying? He'll he a black business owner. I'm trying to encourage him. You feel me? So towards the end of the convo, you feel me? He pulled out a basketball jersey, um, and he's like, yo, like, you want this basketball jersey right here? Um, I'm like, hell yeah. He's like, he's like, it's only one. You know what I'm saying? This from the, the TV show, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. So he pulled out the jersey. He got one motherfucking jersey. He like, I got this one, and I got a carton base one. This one sold already. I can I can sell you the carton base one. This from the actual TV show where they was filming. It was on set. One of my friends was on set gave us the jersey or whatever, right? So I'm like, I'm like, man, hell, nigga, I want the Will Smith. Fuck that other shit. So he's like, I can't say the Will Smith. I say, well, you say this is the only one, right? He say, yeah, it's the only one. I say, say that. So I go home. I hit my manufacturer. I'm like, yo, uh, this manufacturer doing my motorcycle denim jeans and my, and my leather motorcycle jackets and shit. I'm like, yo, I need some basketball jerseys. I'm like, I just seen a motherfucking jersey. The only one is this. And I know if I want it, a million other motherfuckers gonna want it. So he's like, um, 
yeah, man, I could I could make you a basketball jersey. I, you know, here in China, man, I, I got a basketball jersey factory. I can make you any sports apparel that you want. So I'm like, okay. I send him a picture of what I want. I say, can you make this for me? And I give him all the specifications. He's like, yeah. You know, he shipped me in a box with, I think, 75 pieces in whatever, right? Probably 75 pieces of box or some shit like that. So now I go, I go online. I make my stove. When I make the stove, I, I'm using Shopify. You feel me? I used to use Wix, but Wix is a little bit more complicated and Wix uses Flash. So by them being by them using Flash, it kind of make it hard for the consumer to really purchase on the site. It looked pretty with the Flash and all the moving shit, but it load up slow. The, the attention span of the customer is real short. So they don't really want to be on Wix too long. It's like Wix sites and they might be like, oh, you know what? Let me let me move on. Now I have seen some people have success with the Wix site. I have too, but it ain't my preference anymore. It when it comes to e-commerce, I feel like Shopify is the king. Shopify really figured out the whole back end of what a person, what a consumer wants to see, and they figured out what as a seller, what you need to see on the back end to operate your business correctly and easily. Like I've seen so many people have Wix websites and they call me because they know I'm in e-commerce and they be like, Blue, man, I can't figure out the site. I need to upload products. This girl killing me, the, the charging me to upload products, charging me every time I want to make a change to the site. Help me, Blue, please. And I move them off the platform and I move them over to Shopify um, because Shopify is so much easier to use for the for the seller. So anyway, I build my store, boom. Put the put the product up there. I still I he actually didn't I didn't have it in the mail yet. I knew it was coming in like nine days or so. So I told him, hey, take your iPhone, put it on a on a white backdrop, and take a picture of the product for me and send me the picture. So he took the picture with his iPhone, it was real clear, high resolution, sent me over the pictures of the front, the back of the jersey, and then um I built the website with that. So now, boom, my sales started coming in. I go from a thousand dollars a day with motorcycle jackets and shit to now I'm making five grand a day. You know what I'm saying? Selling the basketball jersey. So I'm like, I'm like, yo, this shit unbelievable, right? So I run the bag up with that bitch. I'm like, man, if this gonna sell, then let me try another one. So then I say, you know what? He tried to upsell me that car, Bates motherfucking jersey. Let me try it anyway. So bum, I went and made that one too. So now I make the car and Banks jersey, and then it increased my sale volume more. Then I'm like what uh i say all these movies that's out it ain't no sports apparel for that that represent our culture and the stuff that we grew up with so i started making all of them um teen wolf um 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 he got game fucking jesus shuttleworth um oh, any, anything you can think of man anything that was in the movie i would do it and some some of the movies they might have sent me like a cease and desist or whatever so i pull it off um the site eventually but but when I first started, it was so fresh and new and it didn't exist. And it, it kind of like, it was like some untapped territory. So I, I really made them and really, um, you know, implemented that online and, and, and created the culture for that. Well, now your favorite movie growing up, you can dress up like that person for Halloween or you could just wear it like that motherfucking Tupac Shakur basketball above the rim jersey right there. So tons of those because, you know, everybody love Tupac. Um, but yeah, man. So now, boom! I, my first month of sales in in the sports apparel business, shit, I'm like 145 thousand in sales first month, right? So now I'm like, damn! I got literally the whole fucking living room filled up with orders, and I gotta call like a U-Haul truck to come and get the orders because USPS didn't want to pick the orders up. So now I got um trucks of fucking orders. I'm, I'm gonna show y'all pictures of of the orders too when I get a chance. Matter of fact, I probably could put it up on my phone real quick. Instead of having the producer pull it up, just real quick, just to show you like what I'm talking about. But um, hold on, boom. So like, okay, so like for example, like if you see these right here, you feel me? You see the orders, you feel me? Look, you see that's that's like um 2016. You feel what I'm saying? You see the orders. Look, them bitches in big ass barrels, hundreds and hundreds of orders. You know what I'm saying? Then boom, they go me and my Rolls Royce right there. They go one of my jerseys. You feel me? A basketball version of the jersey or whatever. But um, yeah, I mean, I mean a baseball jersey. But yeah, so I'm 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 killing it. I'm I'm making hundreds and hundreds of thousands with this shit. And 
So in my me and my manufacturer had a very good has a very good relationship. So, you know, I did multiple business with them. I did the fucking sequence pillows. I call it bling pillows. I did um the Baywatch swimsuits where it say Baywatch on it and it's red. It's a red swimsuit. I did shit like that. Crystal Clutch collection, the fucking blinged out Scarvisky crystal purses and shit. I anything e-commerce, man. I'm running it up. A lot of times, I, it be me behind the brand. You don't even know it's me. That you just see the product trend, and then next thing you know, you start seeing a, a lot of the other smaller boutiques or whatever. They might come in and, and sell a uh, like a similar product. So. Boom, here we go. This years later. So years later, millions later, you know what I'm saying? Out of our rate, uh motherfucking gold fiscal karma, first electric car come out on 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 Rolls Royce, Bentley later, you know what I'm saying? I'm I'm luxury car out, um big mansions and big penthouse suites and shit. I'm doing all this. This this my regular lifestyle. You feel what I'm saying? So now he go years later. My manufacturer hit me. He like, yo, blue. He's like, you selling face masks? I say, nah, for what? He's like, he sent me a video. He sent me the video and this, um, the people in China dying. They like, they like, it's like an airborne virus, the coronavirus. He like, yo, this shit like airborne AIDS. He's like, they getting it and they dying, man, in, in days. I'm like, yeah. I say, um, he say, yeah, man, you need to sell masks. You're going to get rich off the mask. I'm like, man, what's up, my what's up, my order? You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm I tell him what's up, my order or whatever. He's like, all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna get your order out to you. You feel me? So then, so then um he get the order out to me. And side note, you know what I'm saying? I don't really fuck with PayPal like that. PayPal like the mob, man. Them motherfuckers take your money and put you through arm and a leg to get your money, man. So if a lot of y'all out here using PayPal, be be careful with them because they will literally ask you to. Verify who your manufacturer is. Verify the source of the product. Show that you shipped out the orders before they even release the money to you. So in my case, well, it been an instance where I might have had seventy thousand in PayPal. They like, oh, we ain't finna give you the seventy grand until you show us that you shipped all the orders. I'm like, yeah, but I need the seventy grand to ship the orders. You know what I'm saying? The seventy grand is what I'm using to purchase the inventory to ship because I'm doing drop shipping. You feel me? So situations like that I've been in where, boom, now I got to hustle up the bread or whatever, ship out the orders, and then wait on them on the back end and give me my money probably three, four months later. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, man, you, I'd rather not deal with PayPal. I'd rather deal with Shopify payments directly or, you know, they got other stuff like Authorize.net or Stripe, shit like that. Even Bank of America um, and Chase offer and Wells Fargo offer um, credit card processing that you can add to your website so you don't get trapped with the PayPal thing where they don't want to release your money in two to three days so you can fill your orders. So, but yeah, so now I, I in America, boom, this months later after my manufacturer told me about the, the coronavirus, right? All of a sudden, the first hit news headline, doo -doo 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 -doo. oh, somebody dies in America from coronavirus. And um, I'm like, oh, shit. So I hit my manufacturer. I'm like, yo, you still got the mask? And you remember what he told me the first time? I got a whole factory that make masks, Blue. So <laughs> I'm like, all right, give me to the end of the night. You feel me? I'm going to have a whole website up. And then when I had a website up, um, you're going to drop shit for me, right? He's like, yeah, I'll drop shit for you. No problem. So I create the website. Boom. I make 30, start like 34000 or something the first day. As soon as I drop that bit, boom, hit, hit launch, drop it. Boom. It's cold. Coronavirus real. You feel me? 34000 quick. But then the government comes, shut the site down, say I'm price gouging. So now I'm like, price gouging? I, I, they like, you price gouging? It's a pandemic and there's rules and guidelines to um, how much you can charge. I don't even know what the fuck a pandemic is. This is the first time I ever heard of the word pandemic. So I go and Google what a pandemic is. I'm like, oh shit. So now they like, you got to show us proof that you ain't price gouging or we can't open your site back up. So I go to Home Depot, I go to Lowe's, I go to um, um, any other site that I know that sell face masks. And then when I go to the site, so the Home Depot, Lowe's, anywhere that sell masks, and I check the prices, and they prices is really crazy. They prices is like $6 for like a six pack of masks or some shit like that, right? So that's, what is that? Um, six, four, four, eight, 12, 24. $26 for, for a four pack, right? So they charging $4 and some change per mask. So I hit the government back, like, 
man, I'm charging less than what Lowe's and Home Depot charging, and I'm giving away free masks. Anybody that come to my site, they can get a free mask shipped straight to them. You know what I'm saying? Or they got the option that they can order a bulk. So a lot, most of the people that came to the site was like, fuck that free mask. Let me get a 50 pack for my whole family. You know what I'm saying? So my prices was low. I think my price might have been like $3 or $4 or whatever a, a mask. It was less than Lowe's, less than Home Depot. And um, it, and I was only paying 50 cent a mask or a dollar fifty a mask. Some stupid low shit. It might have been 50 cent a mask, my nigga. Like some crazy shit. So boom, they opened me back up. As soon as they opened me back up, huh, another 40,000. Uh, I'm like, okay, this shit crazy now. So now, boom, within the two days, I done made 70,000 already. So now I go hard with my advertisements. You feel what I'm saying? I get everybody on board, as many celebrities that I could think of, as many news outlets and blogs, as many people that I could think of to let them know like, hey, come to my site, I got free masks. And if they want to order masks in bulk, they can order masks in bulk. So I get everybody to run ass. There's no mask in America. It's literally a shortage of masks. There's no mask. All of the nurses are saying that it's a shortage of masks. They don't have no masks. And the hospital ain't supplying them with masks. I got masks. I got masks. I got access to them. My manufacturer, they already made. It ain't no, no wait time crazy like that. You know what I'm saying? I, I've been doing business with this man forever. Like We get all our products in America. That been coming in nine days. It, nine business day, that motherfucker done. So, yeah, man, I, I run it up. And as you can see, I'm we're going to put screenshots on the screen. You see what I'm saying? Some days, 30,000, 30, 40,000, 15,000, 20,000, whatever. I'm just, I'm making this crazy fucking loop. By the end of the month, I end up doing like 200 and something thousand. And then that's when I think Donald Trump issued the order that was like, okay, you can go outside. And then once people was able to go outside for some weird ass reason, where they finally need the mask now, they they stopped buying masks. It was the craziest shit. Like, you in the house, so you order the mask. But as soon as they gave you permission to go outside, all of a sudden it changed. And then I seen, like, the competitors come in. And, you know, they say, like, in business, if everybody doing it, you can't make money. So a lot of time I see these multi-level marketing schemes where they try to get everybody in. And, yeah, it worked at first, and they was making a lot of money. But... Once it get to the point where everybody is selling the product, everybody's selling coffee, everybody's selling this tea, yeah, ain't nobody making money no more except for the people at the top. So at this point, well, boom, I don't, I don't capped out at like two hundred or something thousand. Um, yeah, the, it, the the business is over now. Everybody, they can walk in their local mall or they can walk in the store. They can walk in Walgreens and they go find masks. So I kind of got up out of that business and then. That's when I'm, I'm like, you know what? Fuck that. I'm, I'm finna take this bread. You feel me? It's free money. I got the Millennium Tour coming up. I need, I need um, Sprinter vans and whatever. But I'm, but right now, I'm finna go to this dealership and buy this blue Lamborghini I just seen online. This blue Aventador. I'm gonna show you a picture of that too. You feel what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm gonna get this blue Aventador. You feel me? And throw COVID-19 on the license plate. Like, fuck COVID. Because I, I had family members and shit that, that died to COVID. So I really had a, a fuck you feeling, a fuck you vibe about them. It was fuck you money. You feel what I'm saying? But yeah, the, 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 the motherfucking blue Lambo, going to get that and going to get them sprinters, that would, took me into a whole nother thing. That's how I end up fucking um, getting coerced into getting the loan. Uh, which landed me in prison and I had no clue what the fucking loan was for. They act like it was a loan coming from somewhere else. They signed me up for the loan. When I finally get the fucking loan, I go to my accountant. My accountant like, yo, this a PPP loan. And shit, the rest is history. Y'all know what happened then. You feel me? Hire my lawyer and uh, here it go. You feel me? But I'm fresh out. Just got to get things back in order. Figure out what e-commerce product I'm going to sell next. For sure, for sure, I'm doing my big money clothing um, merch and you'll see us running that. So in a nutshell, um, to sum it all up, man, I get that bad when it comes to that econ shit. Any of y'all that's trying to figure out how to flip your money, how to take your money and invest it into e-commerce, how to grow you a business online, how to build a business for yourself or your kids or a family member, or you just tired of doing a nine to five job and you want to get up out of that. You want to make money from home. You want to make money in your boxes. You want to make money while you're sleeping. You feel me? Holla at me. Um, this ain't none of that square motherfucking shit where motherfuckers like, oh, I'm going to sell you information. And it. Nah, this is a nigga who you really see. Get, I got diamonds in my teeth. This is a real nigga. You feel what I'm saying? I'll show you how to get this money. I got a phone number on the screen. 
I'm going to put a, a website together for y'all where y'all can go. You can book me for a consultation. I can tell you what you need to do, how you need to do it. And I can tell you the pros and cons of doing everything when it comes to e-commerce. Might even help you set that motherfucker up and help you build your brand from scratch. Show you how to get your logos done. Um, you get your products done. Everything, man. Uh, e-com from A to Z. I know everything that it, that it is when it comes to e-commerce. How to how to motherfucking scale your business. How to run your ads. How to get the influencers to, to, to shout out your product. Everything. I teach you the whole shit from scratch. You feel me? And show you how to run that bag up. Feel me? Holla at me. Big Money Blue.